watch to check out this amazing abandoned house and find out how you can get into locations yeah. like this or completely blow it. Cool. I recently got to check out this incredible abandoned house in East Texas with my good friends Jamie and Jessica. Look at this. I am like losing my mind right now. It's unreal. Jessica had arranged it for us to legally enter this house and we had a field day. It was amazing. It was completely beautiful, uh, but it was also tragic and sad because this was once a completely beautiful uh, house that was uh, the site of parties that sounded like the Great Gatsby, but in the Piney Woods. And you'll see a lot of graffiti and just the ruin. I need to add that this is a fairly recent acquisition of the owner and that the owner is not responsible for the squalor. But you'll notice all the graffiti and just where people have mistreated did this property that wasn't theirs i just hit 500 subscribers thank you all who have subscribed to this channel if you like behind the scenes insights and footage and just general photography encouragement and advice click subscribe turn on notifications like and comment on my videos i love to hear from you and thank you so much this was uh built by cuban architects i believe awesome. amazing heritage and it's sad that things get in this state, but it's also completely beautiful for photographs. And I'm, we're actually all appreciative of the owner for giving us a chance to do this. And you just look at the, like the, the peeling paint, the drooping ceiling fan. There was a basement, but it was completely flooded. We didn't even get to shoot outside. You see some of it in this video, but oh wow. I, I just can't believe how beautiful this is. This is quite literally the most amazing location I've ever worked in. It was definitely a situation where and you don't know where to start. And a lot of times the, the best place to start is just the first thing that grabs you or the entrance way, no, which is what we did here. Me. to the basement. I was telling for the cameras. <laughs> I know you know. <laughs> the way her sleeve is poking out from underneath the scarf is oh, yeah. a really great, yeah. This is the best sleeves I've ever seen in my life. I want all of the sleeves like this. If I could only get shirts like this, I'd be happy. Uh, it, it was suboptimum lighting outside and it was very hot, but because of the basement and the water situation, it was actually almost tolerable inside. We really didn't get too hot, especially considering this is the middle of summer in Texas. I seriously could just shoot an entire series and possibly every room of this house. Join Michelle Singletary, Stephanie K. Smith, Sarah, Hugo Hernandez, Ronnie Pittman, and me as patrons. My Patreon contributes just a small amount of cash right now, but it's a huge help considering that this is a nights and weekend passion project. I've got a day job and I can only do this when I'm not at work. So your contributions matter a lot to me and I appreciate my patrons. And if you'd like to join, uh, just check out that link earlier. Thanks. And here we are, where my third Fuji GF 63mm lens dies on me. Like I, I don't said, know what it the is. window lighting about this, this house before. was incredible. This was purchased and brand new it's a good, seven months it's a good ago thing from Adorama. to understand and Adorama has window light and other types of lens. lighting. If you're I like hope a flash it was an early run of this lens. Or it's good to understand really flash know. if you're I just like know a window light photographer runs of this because it'll help you take advantage of situations. I knew that 
because it took the, seven the months to give out not and it's covered it by a warranty that still it might be but excellent at this point i'm just kind of burned out on it and i hate to say it but i think i'm going to sell my and there were certain parts of the house that were very dark and certain parts that were just drenched in light and you know it just depends uh if you know the direction of the sun the time of day and the height of the sun that time of day hills and trees and so on but it mostly just knowing light allows you to take advantage of the situation as you find it and and if it changes which brings us to the topic of breaking and entering uh never do it i know you see things about photographers of abandoned places and they say they break broke and entered and you know it's cool that they get arrested or something but it's not you're just being a jerk you, you, if there's an owner of this property, they're going to hate you and they're going to hate all photographers because you couldn't ask permission. Most places have neighbors. If you find an abandoned place and you can't tell who owns it, ask a neighbor. A lot of times they know and they've seen people try to break in or actually break in or smash things up. Have some respect. If uh, you need to, you can sign, offer to sign a waiver in case you're injured because these places are not always terribly safe. And that's one of the concerns that owners or whatever have. If you can't get it, maybe just uh, hang in there. We, it took us a long time to get access to this house, and it was worth every second of waiting. Like with nostalgia, it pays to have an idea of why you're shooting in these abandoned places. It's not always just because they're interesting. I would suggest to definitely shoot there, but also think about why. And don't just do it because it it's you know, what other people do or what other what you see other people do. Check out this great video essay by Jamie Windsor and apply it to locations and other things you do in photography. So yeah, I had the Mamiya RZ67 and decided to give it a go. Uh, we had this really great, uh, I guess, dining room set up and it still had a table and this grungy folding chair there these neat pillars and we decided to go for it. I knew it was dim, especially for 160 ISO film. And I might also add that this film was expired in 2007. So I was not sure exactly how it was gonna look, but I had shot a couple rolls of it and I think it's just slightly discolored, slightly grainier. And uh, you know, so I metered and took long exposures. I took several exposures and tried some with flash, but I haven't had time to scan everything. This just looked like the best result uh, off, off of a quick glance. But yeah, uh, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. The grain is not terrible. The lighting is a little dim, but as you'll see in the video, the, the light cut out right as I took the exposure, like the sun just dipped behind a cloud or something like that and it just zapped all the light out of the room. So that was kind of a bummer, but we hear we might be getting access to this location again. I'm not going to uh, assume anything, but it would be incredible. That's uh, at least my third Fuji GF 63 millimeter lens dead. I'll be on lens number four, and that'll be my fifth Fuji GF lens. I love Fuji. I love their medium format cameras especially, but I can't do this. So I won't be vlogging because I'll be shooting pictures with this camera. After the adventures in the house, we wanted to go and get some pictures with Jessica's horses. Uh, one of them was uh, not into it, but I still got pictures of him. You have to be careful with horses. And uh, I test fired the flash very carefully a few times to see if it would spook uh, any of them, and it did not. So please, uh, especially horses are so powerful and they can spook easily and you want to be gentle with them. And they're very wonderful creatures. Uh, they're, they have great personalities. They're just completely beautiful to work with. So here are some photos of that and and I will see you again next week working on that DSLR scan video uh, you saw yet another scan from it 
work has been kind of intense lately, so I haven't had a lot of time to do this. But rest assured, I'm still working on it, and I will keep going. And thanks again for 500 subscribers. And may we get the next 499 I need as uh, quickly as I can, and may I deserve it. Thanks. See you next week. Bye.